episode of Beach House Garage. I'm here with Ray. There he is. And me. Uh, so we're actually trying to pull the transmission and engine out of the Mark II. And harness. And uh, engine harness, yeah, the wire harness. But that's going to be a separate DIY for that. Um, so for this one, there's three mounts. You'll see one here. One towards the back. And then on the left side of the motor, Right down there, see those three holes right there? That's the other one. Uh, right now, to prevent a big mess, we're actually taking the um, power steering pump off. And it looks like it's pretty straightforward, just a couple bolts. Looks like they were 13 millimeters, right? Yeah, they're all 13. And if you see down here, there's a 13 here, and then there's a 13, 13 here. This one's gonna have to come out. And that's pretty much you take the belt off. There'll be one here, which goes to there. And the tricky one is this back one that's up on top of the pump. It's on the inside in there. That's the tricky one. But that'll keep it sealed. So no power steering fluid anywhere. That way, oh, there is actually stuff coming out of it. Is that water? That's water. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then now we're going to get ready to actually uh, pull the motor. Yep. So let's get that started. So Mr. Ray over here <laughs> is down here. I'm gonna go down below. And you'll see where he's right now he's just taking off the uh, motor mount. Just a bracket, the, the bolts actually to the bracket. Uh, the reason for this is just so we can actually take everything out as one uh, quicker. That way the cherry picker is not in the way while we're taking this bolt out. Oh, look at that. It's leaking water. <laughs> it's liquid cooled. Liquid yeah. cooled bolts. So this extreme high performance. <laughs> so you okay. got those three off. Yep. So the next thing, like I was showing you guys earlier, the bolts across on the left and the right side of the bar. Um, we'll show you that in just a minute, but first we got to get the engine up on the lift right now. So right now we're actually trying to figure out how to take off the exhaust clips on the, um, the back of the exhaust manifold. Uh, these cars actually, if, they, if the exhaust has never been modified, let me use this really quick. They have these cool little clips right here. See this? Uh, these clips are pretty much just hooks that hook into the back of the manifold uh, since it's a two-piece exhaust system. They go in from side to side like this, and they clamp on. So we're going to give you guys a close-up uh, look to it in um, just a moment. And if you can get the right angle, you can put the Phillips in there and pry it open, and that will make it pop out. There you go. So the next, you'll see right here, you see that right there? I'll point my, put my hand on it right here, right here. This is where this clip goes. And uh, like Ray was saying, if you can get like a, 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 a Phillips right through the hole on the side of it, right here where my finger is at, you can just rip it out or like pry it out. You'll see. Yeah, cool. Top views, that way everybody can see what we're doing. Just, uh, I'll, I'll explain if we're going to turn it on. It's already going. Okay. Explain. All right. To take the, the clutch cable off, uh, you can adjust this down for more slack. Now once you have the slack, the cable mounts underneath the bottom with this clip. That holds the cable in. Okay. And then it comes right out. So if you guys didn't catch that, um, right here, you thread this back to give this to go up and to that'll much give, that'll give it plenty of slack to pull this clip out which holds on the bottom of the clutch arm like that and that, that's what locks it in there there you go easy peasy lemon squeezy so 
So the plan of action here for Mr. Ray is for us to um, we're going to remove the rear motor mount bolts right here. You guys can see that. Uh, uh, there you go. It's like surgery, man. Right there. See those two bolts? One, two. We got to take those off. We're going to leave the motor actually on the car. I mean, um, we're going to leave the motor without being picked up by the cherry picker. Just like that. We're taking those off. And then back here, uh, we're going to be taking these bolts off right here. This one and this one over here. Uh, the engine technically just literally just sits on the actual subframe. It actually does not actually float up like on a Mark IV or a Mark III. Actually, Mark III's do the same thing, huh? Yes, Mark III's are the same. Yeah, yeah. Actually, Mark IV is only um, the Weirdos. first generation that actually started actually hanging the motor versus actually sitting them on the frame. So, um, when you take those out, don't be worried about it right now. Um, you can actually take them out and the engine won't fall or anything like that. We'll show you right now. Hmm? So we'll show you right now. Yeah. Once that's done, the next step will be actually taking off this uh, this frame right here, or this crossbar. Will be the next thing. The bolts are actually underneath, down below here, and down below over here. So you'll see he has like this freaking like 10 foot long extension. <laughs> Makes the job easier. Okay, that one's out. Change to 17. Two right here were the ones? There's three. Or three. Tree. shaft <laughs> where's your new adapter at here's this one is that 3 no yep I hate when they make that noise. I know. It's freaking it makes scary. you think something broke. Probably did, but we don't know. <laughs> What's the next one? That's it. That's it? Yep. Alright, <laughs> rear motor mounts are disconnected. So, quick revision. Bolts in the back. Exhaust uh, clamp on the back if this is 100% original. This car is literally 100% original. So, uh, those are what you're going to be disconnecting. So, next will be the front. Uh, bar, cross right? Member, front cross member. So, but now we actually have to support the engine because now once we take start taking this off, the It'll engine literally will literally fall out. It will fall down, yeah. So, get this. So, the next part will be... So down here, you'll see this bar, and you'll see this bar right here is supported by this one bolt, and then this big bar, um, this should be one, is it another one? To take the cross member out, I see one, well this, for this, this, one. this bolt keeps this, this cross member and that cross member together. So to drop both of them as one unit, these bolts need to come out, which are out already, and that holds the bumper in. But that 17 right there has to come out. And that'll drop the whole thing. So that, this, this is the only thing holding it in on each side, and then the bolts too, the, the motor mount as well. Right there. So essentially four bolts, and it'll come out. Awesome. There you go. But <laughs> make sure you mount this <laughs> on a cherry picker now, which we're going to do right now. So to install your chain for your cherry picker, for your engine lift, there's the bracket that sits on the alternator right here on the left. And if you go over here to the right, on the transmission itself, there's a little hook right here. Uh, if you see where my finger's pointing, 
you'll see it. It's just a hole that's sitting straight up vertical, 90 degrees. Just hoop your chain to that. Good to go. Use this to lift it up. We'll show you guys how that looks when we start pulling that out. You want to jack that up real quick? I can show them what we did. So you'll see here, that's the one lift point. And there's the other one. And then once we get the engine actually uh, with decent amount of pressure on there. That should be good. I'm going to take this bolt out right now. And he's going to take the bolt out of the motor mounter here down below. That way the cross armor comes out separately. Yeah. Is it spinning? Yeah, I got it though. I got them, them thumbs like iron. <laughs> hold the bolt down for you. Don't need a wrench. Now since the engine is actually putting tension on the uh, mount, you're going to have to thread that through like normal, even though it's not a threaded hole, you have to thread it. <laughs> you see how like, the engine just shifted right now because you got one bolt side of the bolt out. Can I jack it up a little bit more? Um, I might have to go down because there's some things there's tension, Up, upwards tension. I was picking the whole car up. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I grab a screwdriver right here. No. Well, you guys get Good the job. picture. <laughs> well, I would tell you what to do, but this is a clean channel. Um, so we lower the motor down. Not a clean channel, just so you know. Huh? Not a clean channel. No. <laughs> lower it down. <laughs> that way you can move the hoses out this way. That way they won't, that tranny won't interfere with them. There you go. More? Yeah, more. A, more. a lot more. <laughs> That's good. There you go. Now you can lift it up and then pull it off those mounts and we're good. Oh, that sounds noisy. I can show them how the exhaust, uh, the exhaust are back there. All right, that's an eight valve with the. What kind of transmission is this? Uh, probably. Well, it's an O two O. So uh, yeah, it depends on what tranny code it is, though. Yeah, so eight, eight valve motor on a Mark II eighty six GTI with the five speed manual transmission pull pulling the motor out. So. That's how you guys pull this guy out. Now, any guys out there watching this right now, the whole this whole assembly right here, as you see it, right here, hundred bucks. Take it or leave it. The engine actually runs. So, <laughs> nice the engine bay. So you see where the motor mounts are there, the left and right one. Pretty pretty weird. But we're gonna be re reusing all of that for our 1.8 T swap. It's pretty cool though. I've never actually taken one of these apart before, so I'm excited. It's fairly simple. Yeah, very. A lot easier than a Mark IV, that's for sure.